Hello guys, Cryptograns here. Welcome to the first episode of the C-Sharp Crash Course video. Today we're going to be doing namespaces. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notifications. Comment your suggestions and all your questions below, or any feedback. That would be awesome. And check out my videos in the top right corner. Anyways, let's hop into it. So right now I'm using JetBrains Writer, which costs money. So if you don't have, if you can't afford it, I would highly recommend using Visual Studio Community Edition. Okay, so we're going to be creating a new solution. It should be similar to Visual Studio. And we're going to be creating a console application. Crash course. Okay. Now we can create a, a Git repository. I don't know if you can in Visual Studio, but in here you can. What Basically what it does is that you can see the history of your changes, which is really nice. And our language is C Sharp. And we're going to use the Core App V2.1 framework. Okay, so once it's done, it should create a folder right here, which is called Crash Course. And we have our Git our idea which is um, which is a folder for our IDE and we have our crash course folder which is where all of our stuff is okay and we can see that in here too so we start with uh, program.cs so what is a namespace basically a namespace is um, is a way to organize code for its purpose in groups so you can have more than one namespace so you can have for example extendable and in order to add a namespace to your class or your script in general you just gotta use the using term and then the namespace so now we can use extendable inside crash our namespace for crash course now I don't want to get too complicated into this because we just um, I don't want to explain classes yet and I'll get into that in the future and doing stuff with our extra namespaces so just know I'm gonna be building on to this okay so in order to let's say you want to use math related stuff you just gotta use, do, type in using system, the system namespace. Okay, so then now if you want to use any of systems uh, classes, we can simply do math dot, here we can do, for example, math dot absolute negative one, and this will print out negative one. Here we can build it and run it, and it should print out negative one, or one, sorry, because this makes the negative positive. So I'll dive deeper into what console.writeline is used for. I mean, obviously, it's to print out stuff and more things you can do with that. Okay. And also, another thing you can do with namespaces is you can have nested namespaces. Or let's say you want to group things even more. Okay. So now, in order to use this namespace in here, you can type in using extendable dot extendable nested, just like that. So now you can use um, certain things from here and let's say we have two okay we can just name this extendable method or ex yeah nested one and two okay so let's say you have things in here and different things in here but you only want this to be accessed in certain parts instead of rather being wherever so what we can do here is is what we can do here is we can have extendable dot extendable nested one and two okay so now if we only want to use one Sure, we'll just delete this, okay? And then we, if you want to use this one for a different class or a different script, then you can, you know, import that namespace like that, okay? I hope this video was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those notifications if you're new. And if you got any questions, just drop your comment down below and I'll be sure to check it out. Also, if you want to support me, make sure you check out my Patreon, which is down in the description below. If you want to register for a membership under my channel to support me, it, you should see that right next to my subscribe button. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Peace.